Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, delivered by Jonathan Edwards on July 8, 1741, is remembered as the most famous sermon ever preached on American soil. Today, it appears in almost every anthology of American literature and stands alone as the only sermon included. It is an amazing text to the modern ear. Even those who absorb graphic imagery and language on a regular basis to the point of being numb to it are stricken with terror when they hear Edward's stunning metaphor on the wrath of God. However, our reaction pales compared to how it was received when Edwards first delivered it. It is known as the sermon for which New England never forgave him. It sparked much controversy. It also sparked a fire that became known as the Great Awakening, a spiritual revival that left a permanent imprint on American life, pulling the colonies away from the ceremonial, detached ritual and discourse that marked European Christianity and breathing into it a new life, a fervency, and an acute understanding of the need for salvation. Edward's reputation is one of a stern, loveless man, <laughs> but that picture belies the truth. Those closest to Edwards described him as thoughtful, warm, sensitive, loving father, faithful husband, and a generous friend to the poor and distressed. Hell was a real place in Edwards' mind, and therefore worthy of perpetual warning to avoid it at all costs. He prayed earnestly for his people to be awakened to the reality of sin and not to take for granted the sweetness of the gospel through Jesus Christ.